Hello, fellow HubSpotters. This is Emma with Kiwi Creative. And today I'm talking about what's not being included in the typical CRM implementation conversation. If you Google the phrase CRM implementation, you'll get tons of results all about how to pick and purchase a CRM. But extremely important technical and strategic points are glossed over. So how do you implement HubSpot after you buy it? How do you ensure your team is set up for success with a tool that actually works? Let's talk about the 10 top things they won't tell you about implementing a CRM. And for step-by-step -step instructions and worksheets, download our CRM implementation workbook. While organizations are typically always mindful of how many core sales and service seats they're paying for, HubSpot teams and permissions are often unnoticed. And without a defined strategy uh, of how to deal with your users, you're leaving yourself open to an increased risk of data leaks and compromised security, a clunky onboarding process, end up spending a ton of time manually setting individual permissions, and a non-documented and often forgotten offboarding process. IT requirements. Your IT team is probably an important part of your CMM implementation already, but there are two HubSpot features that definitely require their attention. Not adding the HubSpot tracking code to your website and neglecting to connect your domains won't prevent your portal from working, but these tasks often fall to the bottom of the list. Not adding your HubSpot tracking code to your website means you're not able to track your web activity in HubSpot. You'll have zero insight into what pages your contacts are looking at, and your external form submissions won't flow into HubSpot. And should you forget to connect your domains, you're actually looking at decreased user trust. You'll notice here this is a connected domain. It's signed by and mailed by Kiwi Creative compared to a non-connected domain. It's from something weird and it's mailed by something weird. You'll also have an increased likelihood of these emails going to spam for those reasons. When it comes to reporting, that's one of the most common pain points we hear during our CRM implementation process. The client's existing process and tools just don't provide adequate reporting. No problem. HubSpot has over 100 out-of-the-box reports, depending on your hubs and your tiers, and it has the ability to create endless number of custom reports. What are your key performance indicators? What metrics are important to you? What do you want to report on? By not identifying what your end goal is, you'll be left with an overwhelming sense of breadth and depth of reports at your disposal. You'll suffer from lack of planning, which means you don't have the custom properties needed to create the reports you do want. You could potentially end up with dozens of never viewed useless reports and dashboards. And unfortunately, your team members could lose confidence in your newly implemented CRM and revert to creating their own reports in a vacuum. Although HubSpot comes with eight lifecycle stages right out of the box, they're pretty generic and might not be the best fit for your organization. Even if the stages are labeled just fine, what's your plan to assign the appropriate stage to your contacts as you migrate into HubSpot? Additionally, what strategies do you have in place to progress a contacts lifecycle stage? Should you skip this exercise of defining your lifecycle stages and thinking through your progression plan, you run the risk of incorrectly segmenting your database which could cause dirty data that doesn't provide an accurate representation of your marketing and sales efforts, or even who your customers are, a drop in email performance from emailing the wrong people at the wrong time, and useless reporting that fails to highlight conversion rates, predicted revenue, and more. As you implement a new CRM, it's easy to create a plan for assigning your existing contacts. Whether you're migrating from another tool like Salesforce or Dynamics or making the leap from spreadsheets, your team is probably pretty clear on who's responsible for your existing customers and who's already working with your prospects. But what about moving forward? As your implementation rolls out and you begin adding new contacts from form submissions, trade shows, ads, and referrals, what's the plan for assigning them? Don't have a plan? Be prepared for dropping leads on the floor or duplicating efforts as your sales team struggles to prospect missed opportunities to delight and potentially upsell current clients, and a lack of clarity when attributing converted leads to marketing efforts.
One of the biggest and most important steps when implementing a CRM is cleaning up your existing data so you don't migrate old, outdated, and incorrect records into your new portal. Yet so many implementations neglect to create a plan to keep the data clean moving forward. If you've forgotten this step, not only will your data decay at a faster than average rate, you'll also face increased costs by accidentally exceeding your marketing contact limit, increased instances of gray mail, and a decreased email sending reputation. The ability to see and manage all opportunities in one place is a huge reason companies move from spreadsheets to CRMs. And while it seems straightforward and easy, there are a few critical details that can make or break your implementation. Ignore the appropriate strategic planning and you could be left with deals that are created too soon, too late, or not at all, inaccurate weighted pipeline amounts, missing critical data such as closed loss reason and closed date, deals that languish in certain stages with no plan for progression, whacked out reporting, and of course, deals that are completely missing. HubSpot has hundreds of standard properties, and most of your business processes will probably fit into these categories, but not all. What's unique about your business that requires a new field? What are your KPIs, and can HubSpot handle them off the bat? How do you segment your database, keep your customers happy, and make your team's life easier? Failing to think through the details that are an integral to your process can lead to inadequate reporting, incomplete records, poor segmentation and lack of insight into your audience, lack of personalization in your marketing efforts, increased manual record keeping and data entry for your team, and a need for additional separate tools to give your team the whole picture. Often left solely to the marketing team, it's worth thinking through email subscription types and your GDPR compliance strategy during the entirety of your CRM implementation. Defining what types of emails you send before you ever send them actually ties directly into following GDPR rules, including forms. Thinking through this will help you prevent increased spam reports, decrease email health and sending reputation, poorly segmented databases, and legal trouble. Whether you opt for HubSpot forms, Typeform, Gravity, or a mixture, you'll need a plan in place to ensure the data captured in those forms is correctly flowing into your CRM. Overlooking details like field mapping, lead routing, and marketing contact status assignment means that your data may not be saved in HubSpot. You'll lack the proper segmentation. You could end up with a time-consuming and manual post-submission process that gets dumped on your team. There'll be a manual and sometimes mangled handoff process between marketing and sales. Could suffer from a lack of insight into contact details and behavior, and ultimately end up with a poor user experience. CRM implementations are already difficult and time-consuming enough. Don't make them harder by neglecting to create a holistic, sustainable strategy that improves your data, your team's use of the tool, and your end user's experience. Download the CRM implementation workbook for more guidance, pro tips, and worksheets. And if you enjoyed this video, check out our other HubSpot helper videos and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Need custom recommendations for your HubSpot portal? Check out our HubSpot action plan today.